How's it going guys? Today we're going to be doing a review and how to to a very special modification on my 22 Dodge Challenger. Welcome back guys to another JTOS review. A little bit different today, a little bit different video style today. Um, I know a lot of times you guys can see videos of us doing stuff and the camera's moving around. It's very dynamic because somebody's holding it. But today, I'm trying my hand at a solo video. So lots of still video and uh, I'll be the one holding the camera if it's not a still video. But just to let you guys know and we'll see how you like it. Today, we're gonna be talking about a very special modification I'm gonna do to my Challenger. And as you guys know who've seen our videos, I've done a first purchase video and a one year review of this Dodge Challenger. And I've enjoyed it all the way through. It's such a, it's such a great vehicle, it gets great gas mileage, even for a Hemi. It's fun, it's fast, it's reliable. And it's, it's a really great car and I love it very much. And in those videos, I always, always said how content I was about the vehicle, you know, and I changed a few things here and there. Um, I love the color. I don't want any decals on it. You know, I, I'm not gonna cut mufflers off or anything like that. But I came across one thing that I said I had to put in my Challenger. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay guys, I hope you guys can hear me well. I live next to a highway and I have cars passing all the time and I'm in my little enclosed porch area so I hope you guys can hear me well and not too much noise is coming through. But in this box is the very modification that I needed to put in my Challenger and it's from a company called Mr. Norm's Grand Spalding Speed Shop. They are based out of uh, Oregon. And so I had this shipped all the way across the country. And from what I gather, Mr. Norms is a long time company for Mopar vehicles. And on their website, you can see pictures of decals that look like old style 70s, uh, big billboard style decals on the side of cars. They have grill inserts you can put in your Challenger to make it look like a Plymouth Cuda. They have all sorts of great stuff. So, if you can guess, this is going to be something old school and something very much desired in old Mopars. So let's open it up. And also guys, when I ordered this, I had to call on the phone and speak to a person. I know that's something very unusual today when you order things online. Um, or in fact, you know, I didn't even order this online. I just seen the advertisement and I called them and I ordered it that way. And that was something, uh, you know, it felt nostalgic, even though that's the first time I've ever done it before. And I really enjoyed it. It's so nice to talk to a person. I talked to a man named Larry and he was very nice. He was very informative about this product and, uh, it was such a great, great feeling, you know, just talking to somebody and interacting and something we miss out on a lot today. It's wrapped in this paper. Move this box to the side. And maybe you guys have guessed already what it is based on the shape, but we're gonna take it out now. You guys ready? Here it is. This is a bolt-on, ready-to-use, Hurst pistol grip shifter. Now, let me tell you guys, I've seen countless videos of 70, 71 Dodge Challengers that have this grip right here. And boy, did I fall in love with it. And you can, you can just imagine my eyes as they lit up when I seen this advertisement for this very uh, piece right here. And a little bit about this, Mr. Norms 
had an original 7071 pistol grip laser scanned all the way around so that they could make this replica and it's absolutely gorgeous this is real wood this one is embossed or this one is stamped i should say and it says hearst and there's uh other ones that say mr norms and i got the hearst one i enjoy hearst products and i just think it looks cool on the side and on the top instead of one through four it has the modern one through six gears in the h pattern with the reverse on the right hand side so it matches the six speed in your challenger and i just think this is such a, a awesome modification to put in a challenger in a six speed challenger they do have some pistol grips that you can install in your automatics as well and uh, i will show you how we're gonna put this in all right guys we're back in the challenger mr norms gave us these detailed pictured instructions on how to change out your shifter it explains it with words and for most of us guys it explains with pictures as well and i'm definitely a visual learner so that's good for me and also you know when i called larry uh, he explained how to do it as well on the phone he's you know he's very he helpful about it um what you will need is a 13 millimeter um combination wrench so i got a 13 and a 12 just to be safe you know but i'm sure it's 13 and so what we're gonna do is we need to lift up this trim piece that has some releasing clips so you'll want to grab right here and pull up like that and as you've seen it snapped up like that put these over here and we're going to want to lift this out and i know what you guys are thinking oh man what is he doing it's all right, guys. They're just snap clips. It'll go right back in. And just be easy with it. You know, give it a nice, good, you know, tug. A very controlled one. And it, it's all the way out. So now, uh, I'm going to switch angles so you guys can see this next step. So right here, when we get to this point, you want to lift this up. And if you look behind here, there's one single wire that connects to this entire control panel right here. We're gonna wanna unplug that. All right, we have it unplugged. This was a just like a regular plug you pull straight out. It did not have any lift tabs or anything like that, but just make sure you're careful and you, you know, you can shimmy it back and forth out. But just so you guys know, it's a, just like a regular plug-in, no, uh, clips you have to move out of the way. So now if you look down here, there are those two 13 millimeter bolts that we're gonna undo and we can get this entire piece out. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They'll never have a recall on loose shifters because that was hard to get out. Let me show you what I did here. I took the box end of our combination wrench and I put it down on here like that and you know depending on where they landed from the factory it could be right here could be a little bit over here where you can get your wrench in but i just took it and i put the shifter in first gear and that seemed to give me the best leverage and room so i can turn it to the left and it took me a few bites to get it you know it would only go just a little bit and then i'd get a little bit more but once it loosened up i got them right out i did the top one first of course because it's easiest to get to, and that left a, a flush surface. Um, there's no bump or anything right here, so that way you could get your wrench right to the next hole, right down there. So now we're ready to slide this thing out, and then we'll address uh, getting the new shifter through the boot. Okay, guys, back on the workbench. And to take this out, it's as simple as you just take your shifter knob, I like to give it a little twist. That'll give it 
um, easier way to work it out. And there you go. You've taken out your old shifter and you're ready for your new one to go in. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I do this inside the car? Well, I wanted to show you guys and I think it's just a little bit more easier to do it on a table. Okay, I'll show you guys how this goes in without having the boot in the way. Um, that square right there, those two holes, this has a little, looks like a mouth opened up and it just slides right in here uh oh it's supposed to slide right okay guys um so the shifter is gonna slide in that slot right there just like that now full disclosure I did have to take a grinder, an angle grinder, and grind down the sides of, let's see, right here. Let me reposition this. Right here on this side, you can see where I grind, grinded it, and on this side. Because initially I was gonna show you guys how it goes in, and I thought it was gonna do this, like that. But it didn't. I had some trouble getting it in there. And I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll just shimmy it and it'll go in. But I ended up having to grind that down a little bit. And it's not much. You don't have to grind much at all. Well, at least in my case. Maybe in other cases, they slide right in. However, I had to grind mine down. And hopefully, you don't have to do that with yours. But I did with mine. But that's how it goes in. And we're going to get the boot back on and plug our console back in. And we're going to see how this looks. Alrighty guys, we have our bolts, our two bolts that I should mention, uh, two 13 millimeter bolts with lock washers came with this. So you can go back with a new bolt. They're in the shifter and we've plugged back in our console. So now all we gotta do is we're just gonna press this back down. Make sure it lines up. There we go. Snapping her back in. Adjust your boot a little bit so it, you can see it says Hurst. And there we have it. We now have a pistol grip shifter in our Challenger. Man, oh man, would you look at that. Boy, that feels cool. Man, just to roll through the gears. Let's see. That's good. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. You can still feel where all your gears are. Your hand is up higher and you know, instead of being like this, you're like this. But um, I was, when I was looking at these, I was kind of afraid. I was like, oh man, I hope it doesn't get too close right here, but it doesn't get close at all. You're not gonna hit this console right here and you still got a good driving feeling you know if you were if you're just cruising it oh, sorry if you were just cruising it feels good and you know if you were just cruising and you weren't full throttle you know you could just do that just relax do whatever and uh but yeah it looks great i really love it feels good I'm gonna take it for a drive and we'll see how it feels on the road. It doesn't take long to get used to this shifter right here. I found myself, I felt like I was gonna to have to look at it and then grab it but it's very very intuitive and you just naturally go like that well I missed that time but um you, you get what I mean I um just the feeling of being able to do that it comes real naturally and you have no trouble finding out where your gears are and um I really I mean I really like this thing um 
and it just it just goes with the car so well and no trouble installing it or anything I really really enjoy it all right guys thank you for watching this video of me installing the pistol grip shifter from Mr. Norms in my Dodge Challenger I had a lot of fun doing it and showing you guys is part of that fun so let me know what you think in the comments below and I'm going to put Mr. Norm's number in the description of this video so that if you want one for your Challenger, you know who to call. Thanks again for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.